Okay, so this is my new craft room. <laughs> it's a disaster area. I do think that this room is slightly smaller than my old one. And there's the big bay window. It is meant to be a dining room. Uh, but I've chosen this room for my craft room. Um, rather than have a formal dining room. Because, uh, to be honest, we never eat in a dining room. We had one before. We never used it. So rather than take up one of the uh, bedrooms upstairs, I'm having this. Um, and here is all of my stuff. And this is the chaos that is moving. Um, so I've decided that I'm going to have an office area there. And then I'm going to have a crafting area on the opposite wall. So I've got all of these boxes to unpack. And I've got to figure out how to place all of my IKEA furniture. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. So, next one you see, it should be finished. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, I just thought I'd show you my new craft room in the new house. I have moved in now and we are just about set up. Um, so, I'll quickly guide you through. It's a smaller room than I had last time. However, it works better because my last room was a downstairs bedroom. So, it had a lot of fitted units in which wasted a lot of space I had floor to ceiling doors which wasted a lot of space so this one although it's smaller it's working all right I've still got some bits and bobs of things to put away so this box is still on the floor um, but yeah so if we come in um, we can see that against one wall here I've got my dedicated office area um, I think it's a really good idea to keep the office area and the crafting area separate. And then if one's a mess, you can move over to the other. No, but um, as you progress as a Stamping Up demonstrator, as I've progressed anyway, I'm getting more and more where I need to have a dedicated office area um, to do, um, you know, emails and ordering and team things and things like that so it's getting quite busy so I've got all that set up there I just have no internet <laughs> so when you see this I will have sneaked up to the old house to um, jump on the Wi-Fi up there um, because currently I'm still waiting I think they're coming to fit it on Thursday so whatever day you're seeing this I'm getting the internet fitted on the very nearest Thursday not sure when you'll see this. So here we've got my very large printer, which I love. It does everything. Printer, copper, copier, scanner. It's awesome and it's quite um, a good model um, on ink. Because some of them are very thirsty on ink. And when you're printing out a lot, ink's expensive. And that is a good one. So this is all my various paperwork. Um, I've got all of my um, cutters down there. I've got a guillotine, I've got various cutters and things like that. And then down there is personal paperwork because I do the payroll for my husband's firm. So that is wages stuff. And then I've got my various planners. I've got my letters there printed and ready and folded and waiting to go out. And if we just scan over here in the what is like a bay window area, you will see all of my catalogues waiting to be packed. They are going out. It's actually on my list to do today. Today is, what day is it? Tuesday. And they are going out. I wanted them out yesterday, which was Monday, but it didn't happen. Um, moving is extremely time consuming. We didn't get professional movers and packers. We've done it ourselves. So, yeah. Nightmare. <laughs> I'll get packers in next time. So, um, I've got my... Um, what are these trolleys called? They're from Ikea, everybody's got them. I've got that so I can move it around. And when all of these catalogues and these orders are done, that area will be clear. So I've still got my normal ink storage there. And I'm using the same furniture I had in my last craft room at the last house. Because the reason being, this is a temporary home. Um, we are renovating a, a, a lovely old building to live in, which is probably going to take a few years. And when that is done, I'm going to have, um, you know, a custom-made craft room um, with, like, 
you know the worktops fitted by a joiner rather than loose furniture but for now I'm using this it's fine it does its job so over here this is my craft area um, so I've got all of my glues and then on here I've got all my punches and my dies and things like that up there is all of my new goodies that I've had over two weeks and I've not even put any ink on them yet because I've been too busy um, with home stuff and moving <laughs> I'm itching it's uh, driving me berserk and down here I've got all of the new ink, the new ink pad colours I'm not replacing all of my ink pads but I did buy you can buy a bundle which contains all of the brand new colours that Stampin' Up! have introduced and that is those I haven't even taken the wrappers off yet <gasps> I need to get to it. So there's all of my punches. I do keep retired ones. Um, I'm not getting rid of my punches. I love them. And then over here we have my light block I had made with Scrimpy Mummy on. And then these just kind of like date back to my lace loving days um, with my Tilda books and my jar of lace scraps. And then this is a spare shelf waiting for my new ink pad storage which I'm getting from Flutter by Heidi um, and it's MDF um, storage for the ink pads so these drawers here contain um, various um, things that I'm obviously hiding <laughs> I think this one is bits and bobs that I buy yeah like notebooks and things like that to use in videos and then this one is just random I'm not opening that I think it's got like little mini pegs and buttons and all sorts of stuff and um, so I've got my um, little stamping blends holder there which again I bought from Flutter by Heide, Um and my Memories of More albums uh, this one has um, uh, technique templates in there and then this one is going to be a wedding album when I get around to it <laughs> This is all of my 12 by 12 papers and if you just sneak in there at the back you can see some lovely new ones um, and then these boxes here, one has packaging in, one has, um, I think that one there is full of stuff, let me have a look, yeah, that's full of stuff to give to customers. Um, One's got envelopes in, I can't even remember what's in the rest of them. Uh, <laughs> so here I have my stamping storage. This is where all my stamps go. And at the bottom half of the shelf there, those are, and the ones on the floor are my retired stamp sets. I'm going to have a good look through. There'll be the odd ones that I just cannot part with. And then the rest, I've undenied what to do with them and what I've decided is I do have a VIP customer only group over on, my, over on Facebook and it's for all the people who purchase from me regular and who are on Facebook and I think I'm going to um, give them the option of having those um, yeah, some, some, some way or another whether I do a little mini auction and sell them off like really really cheap at next to nothing I don't know, we'll see, but that's where they will go. They will go to my elite group members. So there's my tripod, and then in that corner, hidden down there, is my sewing machine, which at the time, I really, really needed it. I was desperate for one, I was going to make all sorts, I was going to make my own curtains, <laughs> and my own clothes, and yeah, I think I've used it twice. Uh, <laughs> so here I've got um, a lovely um, light box, which one of my uh, lovely daughters bought me for Christmas, and she spelt scrimping mama, because there isn't room for the G on the end. <laughs> I've got my lovely, um, this was sent recently by the lovely Kay, who's Kazakins on YouTube. And she did a tutorial on that. And then I got these beautiful bracelets from her that she's handmade. Stunning. And then here we've got just random crafty stuff. I think uh, we have, um, I think that one's cello bag. I think there's my mini marvellous markers I think that one's got ribbons and then down there we've got this is all of my contraband hidden away um, <laughs> contraband dies and embossing folders so a lot of them are like the, the 
uh, you know, the big fat Sizzix ones. Um, yeah, in there. From my pre-stamping up days, now I, I just buy stamping up dies. Um, because they're Sizzix anyway. So, and I get them at a massive discount. So it's a win-win. That one, what's in that one? Um, envelopes. Uh, down there we can just see, it's getting a bit dark because I'm blocking the light with my big bottom. Um, we can see contraband 12 by 12s, 8 by 8s and 6 by 6s again. You know, at the time I really desperately needed them. I needed these paper stacks in my life and that, that pile hasn't got any smaller in the last three years. So there you go. <laughs> I needed them so desperately. Now they're just taking up shelf space. I really need to de 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 stash them, but I I'm not mentally prepared to part with them yet. And then on the bottom shelf here is uh, um, my sewing box. I've got a box of wooden laser cut items from Fernley Designs, and all of my beading and my embellishments from my shabby sheet crafting which I don't do as much now so they sat there collecting dust and then over here um, I've got some the bottom one there is full of lace and I don't know what's in that one can't remember um, I've got my spare whisper white and vanilla card there and on top of that I have just bought the um, uh, in the lines is it called the DSP that you colour in that one I've just bought that even though it's retiring and I got these two stamp sets I got in the sitter and that one is bird banter and I got those for my little girl she um, really really desperately wanted them so before they retired I thought I might as well get them off and these baskets here that one is filled to the brim with mini notebooks and catalogue page markers so that basket is full, ready to pair up with the new catalogues and be sent out. Um, that one's got random stuff in. Um, I think it's got my charger for my uh, MacBook laptop and things like that. These little concertina files, they'll need re-jigging. Re but they house all of my card scraps and there's one for each colour family. And I label on there which colours are in each colour family. They need changing, the labels need updating, I've not had time, but it's on the job to do. In that box there is um, team gifts, uh, when any members of my team get to qualified or bronze elite or anything like that, um, they get a little pack from me. And these are all of my Stampin' Up! planners that I have collected from on-stage events. Okay, let's send up here. And in there is all of my coloured card, um, it works for me for now, um, and each drawer is labelled according to colour family, and each one has the colours on, again they all need re re redoing, because we've had a rejig, so that's on my to-do list, um, because I do have all of the card, it is in a box underneath my crafty desk waiting to be... Um, Put in and then up here we've got some of my achievement certificates. Um, I was quite lucky and I joined in 2016 in the June and by the January of 2017 I was already Silver Elite. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm quite proud of those so I do keep them on show. Um, and a lovely card there sent by the lovely Michelle Last because I've just... Um, last week achieved the um, in, the new incentive trip for Greece. So there you go, that's that one. A little cowbell we got at centre stage. And just some bits and bobs uh, stamping up-ish. And then, um, let's just fall it over, let me prop that up. My 30th anniversary badge. I've got another one somewhere. Um... And that's about it. And then just sneaked behind the door here, I have contraband card, and that is my six by sixes, um, and all of that, and half of the boxes of twelve by twelve is to be sorted because it's retiring, and I am gifting all of my retired paper, 
ribbons, cardstock, everything. I'm going to put it in little bundles and I'm gifting it to all of my um, customers who buy with me during the month of May. So they'll, I'll, I'll divide it up um, best I can until it's run out and try and make sure everybody gets a bit of something. And then those are all of my um, neck things from from on stage so there we go um yeah um, i took the idea of having designated areas from my team leader who is sam um best probably known on here as poodles um and i do think that having split designated areas one for office and one for crafting um it is really really useful so you can um get in the zone for working without craft stuff all over you and by the same token, when you're crafting, you can ignore the emails and the letters and everything and just get your craft on, which is what I plan to do over the next few days and um, get back to doing my videos. So I hope you enjoy my new craft room tour. <laughs> I think I've done about 10 craft room tours in the four, five or six or however many years I've been on YouTube. can't quite remember when I joined um, because, you know, um, I, I like nosing at other people's spaces, so I'll let you nose it mine. So this is where I'm going to be sat for the next few days, working my fingers to the bone to bring you some lovely videos. So thanks for your patience and thanks for not abandoning me while I've been out of action for the past few days. Uh, normal service shall resume very shortly and I will be seeing you very soon. And don't forget, you can contact me at any time if you need a catalogue, if you've got any questions. Just email me at amandachildsworth08 at gmail.com. Or come on over and find me on Facebook. Add me as a friend. See you again soon. Bye.